Welcome to the Old Fashioned Masonic Podcast, where we talk all things masonry while drinking a cocktail. I'm Brian. I'm Russ. I'm Mike. So, folks that are following with, with us, Mike was on our very first episode. He was our number one guy back when we were in the dungeon, when we were first trying to throw this together, the cameras on our face. Then we went to uh, another place to shoot, and this is our first episode in the new space. Of our new home. Of our new home. So, a little bit of a change of pace. Normally, we kind of try to throw some quips before we bring a guest on, but because Mike's already been on, he needs no introduction. So, today we're going to talk about Masonic athletes. Now, originally... Russ was not going to film in this because Russ, if you're following, Russ doesn't care about sports, especially basketball. And it's probably for the exact reason you think. He's not that great at it. So, but we're going to talk about Masonic. Not all of them. Do we need, even need to broach this subject about again who is good and I, who is better i lost in a game of horse yes and he just keeps bringing that but leaving the ladder but well i digress so i was in basketball <laughs> you played basketball but I'm, you didn't I'm like, like basket. a basketball now so. but you you played soccer more as a as a young yes young yeah. person right yeah and didn't like basketball because you felt like you had some pressure that you didn't really want. Yeah, I had a dad that was a coach. It didn't go well. Yeah, yeah. That's I was I was kind of tiptoeing around that. Yeah. So, so we're going to talk about Masonic athletes today, and it's going to be a little bit. I'm going to ask some questions or give some facts about it, and then to the end, like who am I? So try to play along with us. I think Russ. I think Russ is going to get two of them. Okay. And I think Mike will get four of them. Neither one will get all of them. So they haven't been prepped. So we're going to kind of go through as uh, you would so follow along with the so. You want to wager whether or not I even get two. I think you'll get two. Okay. So who am I? Okay. Let me pull this back here. So I was a member of Croy Lodge number 676 in Ontario, Canada. Born in 1930. I died young at 44 years old. Also was a restauranteur with 40 places when I was alive, and now there's over 3,000 restaurants that bear my name. Also, this Mason won four Stanley Cup champion championships and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1977. Who is it? I would have never got this. Man, I like hockey, but I don't even... I would have I never got that. this. Brother Tim Horton. I would have never in a million years got this. No. So I would have not been 100% either. So Tim Horton for all you Canadian brothers. All right, who am I? Born in 1929, died at the age of 87 in 2016. I went to college at Wake Forest. I served in the Coast Guard. Did not know this about this gentleman because I threw the Coast Guard under the bus on the last episode I was on. Uh, a member of Loyal Hana Masonic Lodge number 275 in Pennsylvania. Uh, 33rd degree honorary, also an avid pilot with over 20,000 hours logged, and this is the gimme, 162 PGA title tours. Who is it? Arnold, Arnold, Palmer. Palmer. Arnold Palmer. So there she, if you're keeping yeah, track, ding, ding, they've each got one. Actually, Russ is going to get three. Forgot about this one. Who am I? Died in uh, 1939 at 78. Okay. I uh, played football, rugby, soccer, and gymnastics in college at McGill University. Member of Russell Lee Lodge in Springfield, Massachusetts, later affiliated with Lawrence Lodge Number 6. He was also the master of that lodge in, in uh, 1927 at the age of 63. He was a Canadian-American educator, physician, chaplain, and sports coach who was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1959. Who am I? Got no clue on that one. Um, oh my gosh, you're getting old already. He's going to get three. Uh, Naismith. Boom. Dr. James Naismith. As you walk into our studio, his petition is on our wall. Uh, but Dr. James Naismith. I thought yeah. you might have got, no, got that So we've got a two to one, folks. A two to one. I should have put money on this. 
Who am I? Born in 1965, I went to college at the University of Central Arkansas, member of Prince Hall, Unity Lodge, number 454, the number five overall draft pick in 87, a six-time NBA champion, seven-time All-Star with two Olympic gold medals, a lot of stuff going on, inducted into the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame and retired in 2004. Who am I? Scotty Pippen. I don't know. Oh, I I didn't think you'd get that one. So now we are two to two. Scotty Pippen. All right. The the bat the Robin to the Michael Jordan Batman. You know Scotty Pippen was super underrated. He was significantly he, underrated. He, jo- Jordan doesn't win any championships without him, and Jordan will admit it. He was just a great. Anyway, I don't want to digress in the basketball. All right, who am I? Born in 1972. He's right kind of in our wheelhouse, right? Went to college at LSU. He's a member of the Widow's Son Lodge, number 28, Prince Hall in Boston. He was the number one overall draft pick in 1992. Yet lots of honors. Four-time NBA champion, 15-time All-Star. Ducked into the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame in 2016 after he retired in 2011. There's a five-year gap, by the way. You have to be retired yeah. five years. So who am I? Mike I was going to give him a shot first. Um, He's also a huge entrepreneur. Jack, 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 Jack Daddy, yep. Shaq Diesel, the big Shaq Shaquille Abiff. He is just the big cactus, the big nasty the big Shaquille teddy bear. O'Neal. Yes. Great. Anybody that fun fact about Shaquille O'Neal on Shark Tank, any followers? The guys who had the ring doorbell came on as Shark Tank poo pooed him, kicked him out. Shaq went in with the group that bought them that later Amazon bought for one billion dollars. Shaq was a, a part of that deal. Shaq Daddy. Who am I? This is going to be a tough one. So we've got two to three, right? Two to three. Stanford University, built, born in 1960, played baseball and it's three fo- to three. Is it three to three? Yeah. I have to go back. Yeah, yeah. Baseball and football in college. Member of the Denver Masonic Lodge, number twenty, uh, number ninety-three. He was raised in a two-day Grand Lodge Masonic class. What do you know about that, boys and girls? No, uh, number one overall draft pick in 83, two-time Super Bowl champion, a Super Bowl MVP, retired in 1999, inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2004. Who is it? John Elway. Elway. Yes. John Elway. Are you kidding me? 4-4. Four 4-4. Four. Four yeah. four. Boys and girls, I would have lost big time. I think Russ prepped. He wasn't supposed to be here. I think Russ no, was ready for this. No, I didn't prep at all. All right. The I mean, Denver Lodge kind of gave that away. Fair. Yes. Fair. All right. It's getting tougher, boys and girls. They're not getting this one. Born in 21, died in 1989 at 77. He served in the Army. He competed in his sport for 25 years. Member of Joppa Lodge, number 55, Prince Hall in New York. There was questions surrounding his membership, though. Just had to, had to note that. In 2006, he was featured on a commemorative stamp. He had a professional record of 174 wins and 19 losses. Who is it? Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra. Okay, that's baseball. Oh, okay. Mm, nah. Sugar Ray Robinson. Ah, I did that. know that one. You did? Oh, yes. all right. So yeah. we're, we're still knotted up, boys and girls. Yeah. That was a tough one. It only gets just a little bit tougher. Born in 1895, died at the age of 87. He competed in this sport for 13 years from 1914 to 1927. Member of Kenwood Lodge, number 800 in Chicago. He pioneered, uh, pioneered the love uh, broadcast of the uh, the sporting events. So he 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 was the first to kind of broadcast the sport. He was a heavyweight champion from nineteen nineteen to nineteen twenty six. Overall record of sixty eight and six with nine draws. Who am I? Sugar Ray Robinson. Where did he go? Um, oh, you just that's said right. Gosh dang it, Joe Joe Lewis. That's absolutely yeah. wrong, brother Jack Dempsey. No. <clears throat> Brother Jack Dempsey. All right, here we go. Yeah, didn't didn't know that one at all. Born in 1886, another old one. Died at 74. Nicknamed the Georgia Peach. He Royston Lodge number 426 in Detroit. Although that throws you off the Georgia Peach. Spent 28 seasons as his sport. 22 as a player and six as a player coach. Inducted in the Hall of Fame in 19. 
36. Who was it? Ty Cobb. <gasps> no, I don't know. Ty Cobb. Holy crap. Are we yeah. five to four? Yes. What? <laughs> what <laughs> is going on here? All right. Another oldie. Born in 1867, died in 1955, and the key thing when we did some research, he was buried with his Masonic apron, and that was noted in several spots. Raised a Master Mason in 1904 in Mystic Thai Lodge, number 194 in Denison, Ohio, member of the York Rite, a noble of Aladdin Temple, won 511 games in his professional career. One, uh, 1903, he won uh, two World Series games for Boston. He was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1936. Who am I? He won, my he won two far World out Series of my little games. House, house. That tells you something. So, with Boston, um, Babe Ruth. Cy Young. Um, he has the pitching award named after him, the okay. Cy Young Award. Okay, so. Didn't Babe Ruth pitch it early on in his career? Maybe, maybe. Okay. Um, I would look nice. him up. If yep. So, Mike? Oh, yeah, I lost it. Five to four. Yeah. Anybody out there, five, there is no way that anybody, including Russ, Russ would have bet against himself. He he would have, who's, who's the guy that can't get in the Hall of Fame because of the gambling? <laughs> Pete, Rose. Pete Rose. He would have been the Pete Rose of masonry. He would have bet against himself. Hey, by the way, this is not Masonic, but... Pete Rose needs to be in there. He needs to be in there. He yeah. needs to be in the Hall of Fame. Even he if he bet, there. let's say he bet against his team. Whatever. I don't think he did. He says he didn't. But whatever. So, I I don't get it. They have now sports gambling everywhere. I'll guarantee you all athletes now are betting. Hey, yeah. And Pete games. Rose bet for his team to win. Yeah. Okay, great. So Anyway, I'm sorry we digress on that. He needs to be in the Hall of Fame. He should be in there. Yeah. Masons, put together a petition. Let's get Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame before he dies because it's going to be just bogus if they wait for him to pass and then put him in the Hall of Fame. That is just crazy. Yep. So thanks for watching Old Fashioned Masonic Podcast. (laughs) Cheers.